It's the Bennington Show. Enjoying a nice ice cream social today. Why we listen to that? Excuse me, Chris. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Like a bull in a china shop in here. Yeah, that's him. That's be actually even a bull in China. <laughs> By the way, I love that song. It's it's always great, and it's great to eat ice cream too. Mm-hmm. And we're having her on our volume show whenever that happens. Yes, perfect song. Very, uh, very good episode. Well, this song actually comes up. Mm-hmm. I was talking about it. Got everything set up, clicky. Almost. <laughs> Kind of annoying. He's right? like very close I, I, I to us. I yeah. don't want to be this close. <laughs> Can't all that stuff happen during the 17 minutes of commercials? <laughs> uh, Jen, did you get your ice cream social? I got it, yeah. But you, you got the ice cream, but you didn't get to socialize. <laughs> That's true. It's all about the socializing. We Who went you out got there. Back, there, back there with you now? Uh, Lauren and Vito. Tell uh, Vito to take over if you want to go down and socialize. No, I mean, it's till four. So I have a little... Okay. Little time. <laughs> All right, but you know, ice cream is one thing. Socializing, though, that's they're, to me. They're definitely going to be out of the Americone dream. So, by the way, uh, Vito, you think fucking two teaspoons is going to make me and Chris Stanley forget our problems? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Dainty. Is it going to look bad if you make a second run? That was like that was a thimble full of ice cream. I know. I can't hear you. Yes, you can't yeah, hear because you're yeah. fucking out of touch with the world. <laughs> we were saying to you, on. two thimbles for me and fucking Chris is not going to make us forget our problems. I can, I can go back there. I can yes, get some more. that's the thing that you should have been in your head first. All right. Bring Off your own you cup. Go. Bring your own cup. So, <laughs> bring a giant bowl. You guys want no, right. no. No, I can't crunch around a coat on. Get, get me. You know, just, you know, go. Same right. flavor? I'm yeah, good. Don't flavor. give me I'm not going to switch off flavors. Chris, you staying with fish food? I'm a fish food guy. Mm-hmm. What's in fish food, by the way? I think marshmallow and uh, some like chocolate fish. I don't like marshmallow. I like marshmallow in the ice cream. <laughs> I like marshmallow as its own thing, but adding marshmallow? Fuck you. <laughs> really? Not eating it. Yeah. Eat that much? I my, fucking love it. My favorite kind of ice cream as a kid was called Smurf ice cream, Ugh, and it was blueberry. I don't I know where. That. I don't. You can't really get it anywhere. It was one else. of those shows. Smurfs were big then. But it was like blue ice cream with mar- marshmallows mixed yeah. in, there it is. and I was obsessed with it. Who made and then it, I, Chris? I think Carvel made it. Maybe yeah. that's where I had it. I mean, maybe yeah, other it people does make... look like uh, blue fuzzy the whale. Um, but I will say that I looked into it because I was like, "There's got to be somewhere to get this ice cream," because I haven't had. The taste of it since I was a little, little kid, like four years old. And apparently there is, I wish I could remember where it is. I think it's somewhere in the Midwest. It's called Blue Moon Ice Cream, and it's that same exact thing. And it's super popular there and doesn't exist anywhere else. Blue Moon Ice Cream. Blue Moon Ice Cream. Chicago is popular. Chicago? Yeah. Windy City? Yeah, the Windy City. Second City? Yeah. I'll butcher you to the world, the city with the big shoulders, that toddling town, my kind of town, chicken in the car, the car won't go. Chicago, Chicago, town of a million fucking... Anyway, the point is this, Chicago has it. Yes, it's a Midwest thing that doesn't exist anywhere else, and I'm dying to try it, because I think it's pretty much the same thing as the Smurf ice cream. I got news for you, I think we should go do some shows out of Chicago. I would like to do that. Go see Janice. I would love to spend a little Janice time. Me too. Uh, also, I want to see if the Cubs are the real deal like they were last year. Uh, another thing I want to do, look into this deep dish pizza. How deep is it? <laughs> Where'd they get the dish from? Guess what we're doing for dessert? <laughs> Blue Moon ice cream. Blue Moon all the way. You got it. Dude, I had, a, I had an idea for an ice cream flavor that I want to know, does this exist? Anyway? Okay, okay this isn't even an ice cream flavor. It's like an icy, like an Italian ice kind okay. of flavor. So no cream in it. Is there such a thing as black coffee ice cream? So it's no cream, just the way black coffee tastes. It could still be sweet, but it's like an icy. I think that um, they don't make it because nobody would drink it. I think people would be into it. Peter, did they say, why are you back there so soon? Were they acting like you're a piglet? Yeah, uh, they, the line was long, too, and I didn't want to wait, so I said it was an emergency, and I asked if I could get ice cream in Perfect. Way. Emergency? You yeah. have I no said, shame. I said, broadcast emergency. Good. <laughs> and they said, what channel? And I yelled, 73, and I ran away. <laughs> you said all of them. Smart. This is a test. 
So it's 73. <laughs> Some shit's going to go down. Say there's, uh, there's celebrities lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Black coffee ice cream? No, never heard of it. I think it could be delicious. So it's an icy, no cream based, coffee flavored, and sweet. So it tastes like sweet black coffee. I've never even heard of a, like an iced tea. Lemon ice. It seems like there should be. Mm. Looks like we're getting in the icy business. I think there's been tea. (laughs) (laughs) You hear that, America? (laughs) We're in the icy business. (laughs) Did Matt call back yet about that film? Not that I've seen, no. (laughs) You seem like the worst. It's like a big bite. (laughs) You seem like the worst producer. (laughs) I'm going to be on it. Those marshmallows are great. You're not eating ice cream. You're saving yourself for tonight. Left mine outside. Go get it. Run and oh, get it. Oh, go get it. I worry about him. He's got a big day tonight. Yeah. Don't feel bad. I hope he gets he vanilla, should. not anything that's going to stain that shirt. I'm going to throw some of these fudge <laughs> pieces out. I'm going to be great. Which one did you do? I did the Americone Dream. Oh, the Americone Dream. <laughs> He's just a common man. I call this the Dusty Roads, not the Rocky Roads. I like that. Good. <laughs> it, this is two scoops, by the way, now. At least according to them, it's two scoops. Yeah, Bullshit. it's two teaspoons. <laughs> hey, uh, Mike, you know all about this blue moon, huh? Yeah, this is Mike from Milwaukee. First of all, love the show, guys. Thank you so much. He's great. But uh, the, the Blue Moon is kind of like a big Midwestern thing, Milwaukee and Chicago, northern Illinois. And it's an almond-flavored, uh, basically, ice cream. And they also have another one that's called Kryptonite, which is green with Pop Rocks, but it's also almond-flavored. Same flavor. My kids absolutely love it. It's like the only place that we can get it is up here. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I'm sure it's just almond ice cream with blue food dye. I never but, heard of uh, it before, Blue Moon. Never. It, it, it really is cool. If you get a chance, um, it's a lot of fun. The kids love it. It's, How do uh, I get it here? Sugary. That's what I need. I need to be able to get it here. I'm going to tell you something. I wouldn't mind being out in uh, Wisconsin this summer. I love it out there. Oh, yeah? You, I mean, you, you guys are more than welcome. You are awesome. I'll, look, I'll let you go. Thank you for taking my call. Take care, my friend. I'll see you this summer later on. Stuck up on the blue moon, please. I'll just Instagram me eating kryptonite <laughs> and blue moons. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm as into the kryptonite idea. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Pop rocks? Come on. Then you must be super girl if you're afraid of kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> the emphasis on must makes it sound like you already had a suspicion before this. Yeah. <laughs> so you must be super girl. It's the way you take your glasses off before you start flying. <laughs> that made me think something's weird here. What's the story with uh, Conan? I see it up there on the iBag. He gets four more years on TBS. Four, four more years. years. Four, four more years. Four more years. Four. More years. Oh. And <laughs> what? You said Chris is queers? Never. Oh, good. That's on my phone back. All right. I, Being I, queer I, is a good thing. Okay. We're here. We're queer. Get, get used to it. Get Jews to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Fucking Jews. Jen, <laughs> <laughs> don't bother that. Don't bother it, Jim. No, you're not even looking at it. You made a new friend today, huh? Yeah, I like her. Well, it looks like you're out by two now. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I have no friends. No friends. Welcome to my world, Carol. I don't want to be in your world. I don't want to be. You're just another anti-social weirdo. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm going to the ice cream social. I'm trying to make Chris friends. Chris is at the uh, ice cream anti-social where he sits by himself. <laughs> With his back to everybody and eats out of a bucket. <laughs> hey, what happened to one of our buckets? Who's that guy? <laughs> Don't talk to me. No, Chris. I was at the uh, Dunkin' Donuts in my neighborhood. It's the only place that's open 24 hours. Yeah. So I get, like, when I come in at like 4 or 5 in the morning, um, I go there to buy some Dunkin' Donuts breakfast sandwiches, plural. It's because I'm all whacked out. They say the best thing to do is eat right before you go to sleep. That's for the digestion. Yeah, it's good for the digestion. I agree. And, um, apparently, I stole an entire ice cream cake the other night. What? <laughs> I remember. All right, so Wait. I wake up the next day. Now, hold on. I wake up the next day, and I, I come out to my living room, and there's a, there's a plate with a knife 
and just like frosting on it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? What, what was I eating? What was going on? First of all, it was butter, but then I tasted it. It was frosting. <laughs> it's it's getting gross. And then I go to my kitchen and uh, I open up the freezer and there's half a fucking ice cream cake oh, in no. there. And then it came back to me. It was like a brownout type thing. <laughs> <laughs> where the, the I ordered the whatever the fuck I ordered from Dunkin' Donuts, and I remember them going into the back to do to like clean or something. Because it's five in the morning, no one I'm the only person in there. And then I turn around, and the freezer with the ice cream cakes are right there. So I just open. It was like twenty two bucks for a fucking ice cream cake. I didn't want to pay that. So I just, oh so I just open up the freezer, grab an ice cream cake, and run to the Dude, fucking Dunkin' Donuts. Dude, this is so crazy. You're an adult man. You can't do this. This is this is teenager it's games. It's in your neighborhood, right? It's it's I I walk by it every single day. It's right next You're to the train station. You're on fucking tape there. They fucking. They want to go back and look at the tapes. Of course what, they what, will. Imagine you turned on you? New York One and you saw like the ice cream yeah. bed. <laughs> Fudgy the whale, thief. <laughs> or just Fudgy the whale. <laughs> Fudgy the whale steals whale. Whale steals whale. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> a whale of a tail. <laughs> it was a basket Look, there's Robin, Chris Christie damn. going to bat right now. Since uh, difficult to prove obstruction of ju justice, he's back. He's being his buddy. He's do what, whatever he needs him. He's there. Was he just in front of an NJ Transit bus? Yeah, <laughs> that's what he does now. He's a mechanic for them. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get. He's trying to get the the reboot of the Honeymooners going with him. <laughs> I can't even fucking stand the news. No. Just look Can't away. Stand the news. I don't even call it the news anymore. I call it the Trumps. And sometimes I go, Trump, it is. Trump, it is. But you guys would know this if you played Bennington Barometer. Mm. And uh, go ahead. <laughs> you run in. Yeah, get the paddles. Just get every make everything. Nice. Oh my god, he's running down the fucking hall. I thought he was going to turn it on. <laughs> I mean, we could just do old school. I could have did A or B. Why is he so fucking insane? I think it's autism. It's the dates got him worried. <laughs> Dude, what? May seventeenth? Like, <laughs> that has him scared. I can't believe you're judging him after telling us of your petty theft. Oh, whatever. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was outside of work hours. Yeah, this was okay. really funny though. <laughs> I just want to point this out. So you're hungry for breakfast sandwiches. Yeah. You end up eating half an ice cream cake and go to bed. Yeah. That's a totally different experience. So does that mean you... We didn't need the Did paddles. you... You gave up the... Oh, no. I ate the breakfast sandwiches. So and wait... for dessert, I had half an ice cream cake. Well, where'd you so get you, the breakfast? From from the Dunkin' Donuts. I, but I thought they you went in the, in the back. To make no. them. After I ordered them and they finished my order and I paid for it, they walked into the back. And after they walk into the back, I have my bag of fucking breakfast sandwiches. And then I open up the freezer and take a fucking ice cream cake and get the fuck out of there. That right, is so, so embarrassing Let's get weird. to the bottom of this. You're drunk off your ass. Fucking shit house. You're yeah. seeing 5 o'clock from the wrong side. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> you're getting it from the wrong side. Yeah. And you eat two breakfast sandwiches and half an ice cream cake. I think I had a bagel too. Out. And a bagel. I pretty much. I pretty sure I ordered a bagel every time. I'm really whacked. Like I know it's a bad night if there's like a fucking Dunkin' Donuts bag on my fucking floor. You know it's a bad night if you you're Why home. Because I don't fucking like when I'm when you're fucking that whacked. It just doesn't you matter. You know what his fucking home must look like? Like his shirt. <laughs> Good. But what was, what was really confusing was the ice cream cake. Never done that before. 